Justine. Want you to know I am overjoyed standing across from you today. Uh, even though it's cliche, today is the happiest day of my life. Because of today, I I get to be your family. This this mass effect is worth everything it took to get here. I don't know what our lives are gonna bring. There's plenty that I do know. I know I'm gonna think of you whenever I see stars in the sky. I will. I like, know for a fact that God loves you so much. That's the coolest thing in the world to me. It's the best. You make me feel at home. You make me feel like I belong. And I vow to make you feel safe. Wherever we are, wherever, whatever is happening, I will always be there to give you a place where you belong. I vow to make you laugh. I know I don't really have that many good jokes. Um, I'm not that funny. You make me think I am. I'll always find a way to make you laugh. I just can't imagine anything I want to see more than you happy. I vow to care for you, care about you, and care with you. You are my priority. Your worries are my worries, and your joys are my joys. I, I'm not a writer. I'm not a poet. I'm not a teacher. You are all those things. I don't know how to put in the paper how much I love you. I, I don't have that in me, but you do. I don't have the talent that you do, but I am a scientist. I can't tell you how much I love you. I'm going to prove it. Every day, small ways and big ways. I love you, Justine, and I vow to prove it to you. And to start, first, I want to thank you for being my rose, and I really want to marry you. Thane, a handful of times you have asked me what I write about whenever I'm journaling. It has always been a mixed bag of things, but this year I read some of my journals back and realized in my retelling of our lives, I was writing little vows to you all throughout these five years together. I thought today would be a good day to share them with you. October 6, 2017, I wrote, This Thane, he may just be worth word production and time and appreciation. Absolutely wild to think I have this many heart sparkles for a guy who unabashedly wears a Mountain Dude shirt. I'm shocked at how much I like him, question mark. So Thane, I vow to never underestimate you. Your love, our love, and your sense of style. I vow to live on the whim with you, knowing we have everything it takes to make our dreams a reality. I vow to make all the mistakes with you, knowing they allow for some of the most sacred moments of our lives together, and they push us closer and closer together. Through all of the chaotic sagas we meet, I vow to stick with you through every single one of them, or more realistically, lay on the couch with you during them. I vow to walk through our marriage, being mindful of the matriarchs of our family, while we create our own legacy together. July 6, 2022, I wrote, Thane and I played tennis today. It felt just like how our marriage is going to feel. So Thane, this is an important one. I vow to always play tennis with you. Not always literally, though. Metaphorically. It has been a ride to go out there and play tennis with you while we laugh at how we don't know what we are doing and push each other to not give up. We make it up as we go, we encourage each other, and we genuinely enjoy every moment of it together. It's special and beautiful even though I've yet to win a game. I've had to keep playing tennis with you because I know anything worth doing is worth doing badly. Millions of more vows are to come. I can't wait to play our way through them without a rule book, with our families and friends lifting us up as we faithfully follow our dreams and make mistakes together. My heart on its axis is tilted toward you forever. You are a true north, gentle gem of a person, and I'm so certain of my love and admiration for all of the different versions of us to come. I love you, and I know you are the one for me because my toes tell me so.